Hey YouTube, it's Mike VSG Bear here, and I am doing a mobile update today. Um, I don't remember if it's week 13 or 14 update for me, so apologize about that. Um, I am. Oh, today is Saturday, May 4th, and for all you nerds out there, may the 4th be with you. Um, I am actually heading up to Disneyland now where I'm going to be meeting um, VSG Kirk and Mr. Eric for uh, dinner. And uh, I'm not sure if we're going to hang out in the park or what we're going to do, but they're in town for a couple days, so um, I'm heading up there now. Ian couldn't join me because he had too much schoolwork to do that's due Monday, so I'm just going to go out and hang out with the boys for a little bit. Um, so, this is part one of two or three videos today. I'm not sure. Um, so just to bear with you, bear, bear with me because this is going to be, this shouldn't be that long, but uh, it's going to be a, um, it's going to be a video of today for sure. Um, so the numbers. I, last week I was 288.2. And that was after losing 8 pounds in 36 hours from food poisoning. So, I'm somebody who weighs myself every single day, and I kind of expected myself to gain weight this week. Um, and I did. I went back up to 292, 292.5. And, um, but today, when I weighed myself uh, before my shower, um, I was 286.8. So a loss of 1.4 pounds. Yeah, 1.4 pounds since uh, my last update. So total loss of 119.7 from my official start weight. So I thought I was at 122, but I'm close enough to that. Um, like I said, give or take a few pounds. So 119.7, and I think I'm 14 weeks out. Not sure. Um, what's happened this week is I went to see my doctor yesterday for my four-month post-op. Um, and honestly, while my doctor is a good surgeon, sorry the road's a little shaky, so this is going to be shaky. Um, while my surgeon's a, a good surgeon, he's really, really hard to deal with and understand. Um, and he's old. So I'm not sure if he's, what, what his deal is, but um, I, he told me that he, that I should be probably 20 pounds lighter than I am at 13 weeks out. Um, I know he had my information in front of him, but I've lost 84 pounds in 14 weeks. So, you know, that's a lot. I had gastric sleeve, not bypass, so maybe he was confusing me with that, um, not sure, um, and then I asked him about calories, because he had originally told me 800 calories, and I said, well, I want to clarify, because my trainer and I have been talking, is it 800 gross or 800 net, and he said it was 800 net, um, and I explained to him, I said, so, 800 net, if I'm working out with my trainer for an hour and I burn 300 to 400 calories, depending on what we're doing, or if I'm at the gym by myself, or if I walk a lot that day, you're telling me that my net cal or my gross calories should be only 800, so then my net calories will be 400 for the day? And he's like, yeah, that's what you should be at. And I'm like, that's not right. My organs, my body, my muscles, they all need more calories than that. And he's like, well, the biggest thing is worrying about losing the weight. And I'm like, you no, know, the biggest thing is about being healthy and working out and eating right and all that stuff. So um, I think he's kind of full of shit, honestly. And I don't have a nutritionist yet, but I'm going to get one. Um, and then I asked him about water intake or liquids, fluid intake. And I said to him, I said, you know, protein shakes count and blah, blah, blah. And I was like, how much uh, liquid should I get in? And he said, 40 ounces. And I'm like wait a minute, you've been telling me 40 ounces since day one, and now that I've increased my exercise level a lot, and I'm doing more, and I'm sweating a lot, you still tell me 40 ounces? 
Um, just, I, uh, he's full of shit. Just plain simple full of shit. And he frustrates the hell out of me. And I don't even know why I go back and see him. Because I saw him yesterday. He said, looked at the numbers, said what he said, talked about that. And then I asked him about my hernia. And he, um, sorry about that, guys. And he said, well, since your hernia is going to be a big repair, I want to wait a little bit longer and wait another three months and see how you are at six months out. God, this is shaking that terrible road right now. Um, see how you are at six months out, and then we'll figure out doing the hernia repair. I think I'm going to ask my primary care if she can refer me to another GI doctor um, or general surgeon because I want somebody who actually knows what the hell they're doing. Like I said, this guy, he's been a surgeon for 40 years. I mean, he knows what he's doing, but the follow-up is terrible. Um, so when I go see my primary on Friday, I'm going to ask her for um, a referral to a nutritionist and also um, talk to her about the GI doctor and everything. So we'll see. Um, <clears throat> and let's see. Uh, met with my trainer twice this week. Um, Tuesday was not such a good day. Um, I had got up, I was running late, um, had half of a isopure, a small isopure, so those are 15, cal 15 protein and I probably had seven of it. Um, working on my trainer, about 45 minutes of the workout, I told him I wasn't feeling good, feeling kind of lightheaded, and I passed out. Um, so literally, he caught me. I slumped over and he caught me and uh, sat there for about 20 minutes, drank some Powerade and felt better. I went home and took a nap um, and I explained it to my doctor and he was like, well, it's because you're not eating enough calories and carbs. And I'm like, wait a minute, you just told me not to eat calories and carbs. What the fuck? So, um, but Thursday worked out, was pretty good. Um, today is going to be uh, a little bit of calories because I'm planning on walking around the park. Lot. So, we get a late start. It's three. Well, I've been on the road for about a half hour now. It's about three, three o'clock now. So I'll be there at probably four. Um, gonna have dinner and hang out with Kirk and Eric, um, and I think one of their friends from Long Beach. So, should be an interesting time. Um, what else is going on? Just busy with work and school and. I have a little frustration rant video that I'm going to do next, um, and I don't know if I covered it before, I can't remember, so I'm going to do it again, and uh, just let everybody know, you know, sometimes, it, it, I mean, my videos are generally positive and upbeat, but sometimes I just have a shitty day, and I get pissed off about things, and um, we're down, and I decided to do that next in my next video.